Just yesterday, our gardening expert mentioned that painting old terracotta pots was a good idea to update them for your current home style and decor. Well, when you know, our creative guest was already on that task. She's always a step ahead. She is today how to take a regular plant container and make it fresh and usable again with a new coat of paint. Not just any finish, however, our project mimics the natural expensive look of marble. Michelle Inkley is that woman who is always a step ahead. She joins me in the studio. You've been experimenting with this for a little bit. I've been following yes. you on Instagram. Yes, yeah, so I did it for my office because I needed art for my office. So I loved the pour paint and I loved that finish on a canvas. Well, I had these pots, these terracotta pots in my garage from a party that I did last year and they were hot pink and turquoise. It was this tropical and I'm like, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> so I wanted to make them a little more neutral. You had to break up. I had to, yeah. With the hot pink terracotta Yeah, pot. I'm like, you know, that was great for the party, but not for my dining room set. So I thought, why don't I make them a little more natural and why don't I try the pour technique on it and see if I can't get that marbleizing effect. I have to attest, some projects look good from a distance, right? And we yeah. respect those for what they yeah. are. These these look awesome up close. I mean, the texture oh, and the color are, play is really cool. They're so pretty. Yes. They really, really exceeded my expectations. So I was really excited for it. Okay, we're gonna apron up, right? Okay, and yeah. you're gonna show us how to do this. Yep, let's Here you go, lady. Her, thank you. What supplies do we need? So it is paint. It's okay, a paint, bit yeah, that messy. makes sense. So just know that if you've got your three-year-olds around, Maybe, you know, <laughs> random. This now is not her jam. It's not, but Acrylic a 12 year old would be fine. I use, you can use a lot of things. I use some Rust Oleum. I love their Rust Oleum metallic paints, Pretty. are really good. I use a Sherman Williams house paint. I just had extra house paint that I've been using. Okay. And acrylic paints. It does take a lot of paint, so sometimes when you buy the tubes of acrylic paint, it would might use the whole tube. Okay, so you just know? be prepared. So be prepared. It does take a little bit of paint. I think it's the metallic paint, though, that I'm really loving. Well, it adds, you know, I downloaded some pictures of marble because I wanted to see the veining on it. Mm -hmm. And they always had, because that's how I kind of got my color ideas, they always had a dark vein, right? So when I used the pink, I would put a dark vein of like the gold in it. Or okay. if I did blue, I would do a silver. Okay. So, you know, you do need a one kind of dark color. Yep. So okay. grab your white paint. Yes, this is your white paint. And you have to thin it out. If you do it super thick, it will still work, but it leaves a texture, which I kind of liked because it looked almost like it was concrete. Okay. It was a cool effect, but if you thin it out, you'll get more of a smoother effect. Now, this is different than the pour paint. We poured right on the canvas. This, Correct. we're going to pour it little drops of paint into our cup. So you're just going to take- Into our white? Into your white. Okay. So you're just going to take the colors and just pour them straight. Yeah, oh, sorry, did I take all that going? Hey, you paint hog. <laughs> Good thing I love you. No, just, and do we yeah. mix it or we just let nope, it sit? Nope, you just let it pour down into the middle of that. Okay. Okay, and just pour it all in there. Pour it all in there, Brooke. Okay. It's fine. Just because we want to get a little bit of color in there, right? And then just pour that darker color too in there. So mm -hmm. you'll want a little bit of the darker color for that mm -hmm. veining. Mm -hmm. Don't have to mix it. It can just sit there. Michelle, you took all the paint, lady. I, do you want this? Here, no. You take this. No. You, but I am going to show the camera what this yeah. looks like inside. So it's just all kind of pooled on top. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Kind of, sort of, not really. But it's just pooled on top. It's not mixed yet. No. Okay. So now comes the fun, messy part. Now you want something to put your pot on uh -huh. to, so it can drip off, right? So we'll just keep that right here. So, so pick up your pot. That's the water bottle. Yeah. That, no, pick up your pot. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So oh. we're going to just, yeah. But you want something down on the ground as well. Please gotcha. do it with some, you know, surfacing. I like to hold my pot sideways. Okay. Okay. And then you just pour brick. Why is this so oh exciting? Because this on. is so fun. So just pour along the top. Okay. Okay. And watch, see how it just kind of drips on the What's sides. What's happening? Keep just covering all. Just turning, rotating. Yeah, just rotating, rotating, and turning. Yeah, this does take a lot of paint, doesn't it? It does take a lot of paint. So, you know, it it's not a... And then, so once you have most of it covered, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're turning and you're turning, mm -hmm. it's not going to cover all of the areas. So go ahead and you can take your finger and just kind of um, jam along the outside there. Just spread it a little just bit. Just kind of spread the areas that it's not quite covering, okay? Mm -hmm. Mostly at the top because it will drip off the off the bottom. Okay, so that's how you're going to cover that top lip. Yeah. 
So, and if you need more paint, go ahead and just well, use Well, funny, the other somebody side. took all the paint, so yeah, I that's was my, yeah, I, a I kind bit. of am selfish that way. I'm kind of, you know, looking <laughs> okay, out for okay. myself. So once you have it sideways, because I like it to kind of drip down this way, uh -huh. once you invert it onto whatever, your water bottle or whatever you have, uh -huh. the paint is going to start dripping now down to the vertical, right? Okay, okay. To the up and down. Gravity so becomes your Gravity next pulls supply. it the other way. So that's the thing is you don't want it to be like a straight up and down feeling. You kind of want to have those swirls in there. So that's why I like doing it sideways and then, yeah, tipping it upside down. Okay. Now, this will take a long time to kind of dry and to drip down. Like how long? So like I came back out, see how it's kind of dripping off? I don't know if the yes. camera, yeah. So I came out after maybe, I did like four or five of these, and then after like a half hour, I came and I ran my finger along the bottoms okay. to kind of catch those extra drips. Right. Because I didn't want the drips to be um, on the lip of my, top of my container. Clumps. Yeah, so a few of them I missed, the drips. So what you can do is if you feel like you have a drip after you've done it, you know, just hanging off, uh -huh. just take a piece of sandpaper, lightly sand the drip off. And if you want to finish the top edge, you can either like gold leaf it, you can use these little paint pens, right. go around the top. Do we care about the bottom? Oh, you did the, the bottom. Bo well, that one did. I just sat on the ground and poured on top of okay. it. Okay, all right. But no, I don't, it sits like that. So right. no, you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you are worried about the inside, you can always see, you can see my terracotta from my party there, my hot pink. But you can always spray that white uh -huh. if you're really worried about it. But bottom line, you're going to be putting stuff inside this and it's not going to really show that much. I love this. So just pop your plant and you're this. good. For a wedding, for your formal living room, for your fun so entry cute. table. I mean, the, the possibilities, the options are endless as far as use goes. Thank you so you're much. You're welcome. She'll have the tutorial, I know, on your website. I will. It's up and on hey, my website. I just want to throw this out here. Not many people know you have an organization business on the side. Yes. Hello, you busy lady. That's what I do for my real job. That's your real gig. <laughs> How can we get in touch with you if we need help there? If you need help there, just my Instagram, The Glitzy Pair, or you can always email me at theglitzypair um, at gmail. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, you'll see inspirational projects. You'll also see inspirational organizing projects from creative to organization. So this lady inspires us in so many ways. Thank you, Thank my friend. You, Brooke. Really fun.